I honestly can't stop thinking about how they called Mulan a sow's ear. <laughs> so rude. Okay, so I was going to jump into another section of herbs. Section of herbs. Then I remembered it's the holiday season, the time of year where you are forced to spend time with relatives, whether you like it or not. That's just what happens. <laughs> I mean, if you can stay home and not do that, wonderful. But for a lot of us, we do have to go out into these social situations and sometimes it can be awkward, it can be scary, sometimes people can be really aggressive and nosy. So I thought, why not do a protection against your relatives during the holidays a video? Before we get started, say it with me. Oh my god, a burp. Alright. I do not have to answer any awkward or uncomfortable pressing questions from anybody ever it is my prerogative okay i know it's hard i know that a lot of times during the holiday season you see any great aunt cc she's coming in she's asking you who are you dating when am i gonna see some children when are you getting married when are you gonna meet a nice boy a nice girl when are you gonna do this when are you gonna do that when are you gonna quit your job when are you gonna start dressing like what i want you to dress like and you can just smile and <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom and then go to the bathroom and then play games on your phone and ignore everybody else. I do have a couple of things that you can do to protect yourself from emotional damage and kind of thwart people from asking you questions you don't want to be asked or just protect yourself in general when you're going out into these situations that you don't want to be in. If you don't have any tools or any magical things that you can use to make a spell or to bring about any kind of charms or something like that, you can always charm an item that you already have to protect you or to keep you safe emotionally when you go out, no matter what. You can also just create for yourself a bubble of protection based on your own energy. So the first thing that you learn when you start practicing magic, if you're using any kind of psychic abilities or if you're just putting yourself into a spiritual situation where you're open, you learn to protect yourself with your own personal energy. So you can create for yourself a bubble <laughs> the bubble. A bubble that starts from your feet or it can start from your head. It can start from wherever you want. You just want to encase yourself in a clear shell that is made up of your energy. It's not going to let anyone else's bullshit get in and hurt you. You just want to make sure that you have a strong wall of defense. So you can start just by centering yourself, focusing on your own energy. Think about what color it is, kind of swirling around you and kind of just creating this hard shell goes over your head, just circle yourself. Circle yourself! Just circle yourself. God! <laughs> I feel like you're so far. Come here, Susan. You're basically creating a bubble for yourself that's going to encase you in it to keep you safe. If you do have something that you can charm to wear for yourself, to keep you safe and to keep the harmony within your social situation, then find a piece of jewelry that you have that's special to you that you know you're going to be wearing on that day. Then you can just lay it in salt and cleanse any energy that's already on it because you're gonna be placing a new energy on it today. So you're gonna take that item after you cleanse it with salt. You can also cleanse it with smoke if you have any uh, sage smoke, incense, anything that's going to clear the energy. And you're gonna take that item and you're going to anoint it with something that's yours. You can use your spit. If you're a blood person, you can use your blood. <laughs> you can just use your intention. Sarah, Sarah. Who is Sarah? I don't know about Sarah. You can anoint it with an oil, with a holy oil or any blessed water. Then you want to put your intention on it. Since right now we're protecting against something very specific, I will get very specific about what you want this charm to protect you from. Protect you from judgment, protect you from aggression, from people being too nosy, you from Aunt CC. You want it to be very, very specific when you're charging it. After you charge this item, you're going to wear it. Put it on, sleep with it overnight, and let it soak in, and then wear it the next day to your Christmas holiday, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Yule event, and let it do its work. If you have any crystals or stones that are great for calming, for good communication, and for protection, I would also bring those with you. You can do one or all of these things if you want to. As much protection as you feel like you need, do it, do it, do it. So really good crystals that I can recommend for being in social situations that you're not too like keen on. 
Amber. Amber is so great. I can't speak highly enough of Amber. It smells really wonderful and you can get like the solid Amber hunks like, or you can get Amber incense, you can get an Amber powder. Amber incense is great to burn and anoint yourself with before you go out to see your human family. It's a wonderful harmonizer. It balances things out and it makes it easy for emotions and feelings to flow smoothly and softly and gently and with love instead of with craziness. Howlite. Howlite is a great calming stone. It's wonderful for helping you sleep. It's wonderful for helping to calm down any situation and cooling tempers. So it's really great for social situations. It's really great for loud. Yep. It's really great for loud party times if you're someone who doesn't like that so kind of loud. thing. Yeah. So loud. Opalite. Opalite is also really great for calming you and calming any situation. Um, Angel Aura Quartz is also really great for that. It opens up people's minds to different possibilities and kind of soothes people's thoughts. Blue Lace Agate. Okay, so Blue Lace Agate is my go-to for any social situation where I know that we'll be talking about things that may be a little bit uncomfortable. So with family members, if you're worried about any kind of tense situations, Blue Lace Agate, it helps to soothe any conversation that's happening. It's especially great for relationships between parents and children. Really nice stone to use whenever you're talking to anybody ever. <laughs> Pink opal, great for calming the thoughts, making the thoughts come out in a loving way, a soft way. And also rhodonite, which is really good for deep love. And it's very healing for any kind of family situations that are uncomfortable. You know, you have like cousin Jojo and cousin Don and they aren't talking. It's making the whole room tense. The dinner table is like, sipping tea, drinking wine and looking away with the one to get into a fight. Rhodonite. <laughs> Gonna get into a fight. Rhodonite. If you have any of these crystals or stones already, go ahead and cleanse them, charge them specifically for the purpose of keeping everything calm and harmonious during your holiday excursions. If you have a piece of jewelry with one of these stones in there, wear that piece of jewelry. I have blue lace agate earrings, I have a ring, I have a necklace. It's inconspicuous, no one's gonna be like, why are you carrying around some crystals? Now, if you are going into a situation where you know it's gonna be toxic, you're going to your cousin's house and you know that everyone is gonna be fighting, drinking, doing whatever kind of thing, and you wanna protect yourself from any kind of judgment, any kind of ignorance, or whatever's gonna be coming at you. You know, racist old homophobic grandma who's be messing with you and you don't feel like dealing with that today. And get yourself a lemon, some poppy seeds, and some pepper. Those things in some water, it's gonna be nasty, but swish it around your mouth, get a good gargle on, spit it out, put that mixture also on your hands, get the lemons and the pepper, and rinse your hands with this as well before you go out and this is going to thwart anyone. So whenever you speak, as soon as you walk in there, hi grandma, as soon as those words come out of your mouth, the lemon and the pepper and the poppy start working and they are pushing everyone back. They're pushing the situation back. So if anyone's going to be aggressive toward you or treat you poorly and you already know that you don't want to deal with that, go ahead and give yourself a rinse with this. I'm telling you, it's going to keep people back away from you. You don't have to put so much in there that it's like smelling like it's stinking. You're just walking in like a sliced lemon, like, hey everyone, you're going to get everybody's mouth sour and twisted. You don't have to do that. You give your hands a good rinse with it, give your mouth a good rinse with it, and this is just going to keep people um, at a little bit of a distance from you, which is fine if that's what you need. And last but not least, my darlings, if you are the person who's hosting this wonderful get together and you want your house to stay harmonious because you know everyone's gonna come in and just unleash whatever feelings they have about each other, then go ahead and get yourself some candles and dress them for harmony. I would suggest pink, white, or brown. These are all wonderful colors for happy home. You can all place these candles around your house. You can anoint them with oils. Like I said before, like I'll always say, get some amber oil, get some vanilla. You can also get some clove oil, some honey, some fennel. Put those things on your candles. These are all things that are just gonna harmonize the situation, balance out any emotions, put a blanket of love on the situation as well, and just keep everyone calm and chill and in a good mood. If you don't have any candles, or if you don't wanna light candles because you're gonna have kids in your house as well, kinda like a potpourri, it's like a magical potpourri, and something that you can just set out around the house, or you can boil it. I would suggest boiling it. My mom always did the boiling of these things. Get some cinnamon, sticks or powder, doesn't matter. Lemon slices, nutmeg, orange slices, apple slices, clove, and basil. Cut it all up. You can use dried if you want, and you can use fresh. 
put them in a pot, a big enough pot so that they're filling up with half the pot with these items and half the pot with water. So bring it to a boil and then put it on a low simmer and let that steam just fill your house, let the smells fill your house. This is a wonderful harmonic potion. This is a potion that will work for any situation and makes your house smell good, number one. Number two, all of these things working together are just going to infuse your home with love. So if anyone comes in in a bad mood, thank you, Willie, for your big ass snort. If anyone comes into your house in a bad mood, you can put a clear quartz right above your door to shift all that out before they get in. As soon as that smell hits them, as soon as that potion is, hits them, they are being softened and they are being bathed with love so that your house can feel like a beautiful warm house and not have any kind of icy cold attitudes messing up your stuff. And again, remember, no matter how much people press you or answers for questions that you're not comfortable with, you really don't have to answer them. I wish you guys the most wonderful holiday season full of love and joy. If you have somewhere else to go, if you don't want to go to your family's house, if you want to go to your friend's house instead, that's okay. The family that you have in your heart is a family that you make. And if people that are related to you are not treating you well or making you feel welcome, then don't put yourself in that situation. It's so much better for you. The people in your life that love you and are inviting you to these things should understand if you don't feel comfortable going. I will see you next week for another video. Who knows what it's going to be? Who knows what the day will bring? Have a wonderful day, guys.